birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people it looks fine. But right here a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait. It says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time.
It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. You think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. seriously doubt they'd even want to see you.
awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents who are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. I'm on a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more... What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. You know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math.
thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us.